You should use your full name. I like that name. Robin. Thanks. Was The Dark Knight Rises ending supposed to set up a Robin movie? Let's take a look on Screen Rants. Joseph Gordon-Levitt, known for his role as John Blake in Christopher Nolan's Dark Knight trilogy, recently shed light on the trilogy's conclusive nature and debunked speculations about future installments or spin-offs. In The Dark Knight Rises, Blake's character is revealed to adopt the mantle of Batman's successor, signaling a potential continuation that excited many fans. However, Gordon-Levitt clarified in an interview with Inverse that no Nolan had always intended the trilogy to stand alone, without plans for further sequels or spin-off films. Nolan was making a trilogy, Gordon Levitt explained. He never wanted to make any more movies. This was an ending to his trilogy. Reflecting on the trilogy's conception amidst the current era dominated by interconnected cinematic universes, Gordon Levitt highlighted Nolan's approach of crafting a self-contained narrative over multiple films, contrasting it with the prevalent sequel-driven model in today's blockbuster landscape. Christian Bale who portrayed Batman in Nolan's trilogy echoed similar sentiments in a 2022 interview with Screen Rant. I had a pact with Christopher Nolan. We said, hey look, let's make three films if we're lucky enough to get to do that. And then let's walk away. Let's not linger too long. In my mind, it would be something if Christopher Nolan ever said to himself, you know what, I've got another story to tell. And if he wished to tell that story with me, I'd be in. Since concluding The Dark Knight Rises, Christopher Nolan has diversified his directorial portfolio with acclaimed films such as Interstellar, Teller, Dunkirk, Tenet, and Oppenheimer. You are an American Prometheus, the man who gave them the power to destroy themselves. Nolan's departure from superhero films reflects his desire to explore different genres and storytelling challenges, distancing himself from the formulaic expectations of modern superhero blockbusters. In contrast, Jonathan Nolan, Christopher's brother and co-writer on The Dark Knight, expressed openness to revisiting the Batman universe in a sequel. Despite Jonathan's enthusiasm, any potential continuation would ultimately hinge on Christopher Nolan's interest and vision for the franchise. Christopher Nolan's previous statements suggest a reluctance to revisit Batman within the current industry landscape, where commercial pressures and genre conventions differ significantly from when he first embarked on the trilogy. That's all for now. Stay locked in on Screen Rant for more news and nuggets about your favorite TV shows and movies.